Hello everyone! Um, this video is going to be part vlog and part unboxing. Um, I wanted to go and update you guys on what has happened with the package that was lost by Australia Post that was very expensive and was one of my dream dresses. Um, it's actually been found. Um, I was originally going to make a video yesterday of me wearing it and showing you the full coordinates of like the dress and everything and like the matching head for it. Um, but uh, I was very loud in the house so I decided against posting it. But anyway, um, I did want to talk about the fact that like the way I found the package was not through the help of Australia Post. Instead, we found it while we were walking for exercise and we passed by a milk bar and near the bushes was the package. The express post bag that it was originally placed in is already missing. The plastic bag that it was in was opened up but the dress was in there and the head bow is in there and thankfully as I looked through it everything was intact there was no visible damage that I could see and so like the girl was pretty much smiling down on me and helped me find this really expensive package that was sent over to me but um, yeah I think the package was um, the person actually tried steal it like somebody tried to steal it in my neighborhood but they found this dress and they realized they didn't particularly like it and they didn't realize what the value of it was and so they just chucked it down on the side of the road somewhere which I find is really just it, as unfortunate as it was that it was stolen and it's a little bit shady that it was in my neighborhood somebody actually tried to steal it um, I think Australia Post was, was is partly responsible for the fact that it was stolen to begin with because they were very neglectful about the package. They just left it there somewhere and so there was an opportunity for somebody to actually steal it. And the thing about that is um, they're still doing the same thing. One of my other packages for the secret garden sites that I bought overseas and um, I didn't do it. I didn't bother to do the bottom because it was like it was just a tiny little package and stuff. But um it it was also left on the front porch uh, on the front porch and it was just there. Like if I wasn't quick enough and paranoid enough to go and check, I wouldn't have seen it. So I'm I'm just a little bit frustrated by the fact that Australia Post doesn't seem to I want to go and um, be a bit more careful, a bit more careful about the packages that they're delivering to the houses, because it, it feels like they don't really care what value that the packages that they're delivering have, and that that's just very frustrating to me. Either way, um, yesterday I actually bought the uh, Gothic and Lolita Bible, uh, Volume Fifty Nine, in the. Um, the magazine shop local, locally in Melbourne CBD. It's called Kanga Kanga, and uh, it's pretty good. Like I had a great experience over there. Um, the shop lady was very nice, and uh, she took a picture of me and my coordinates yesterday and uh, posted it on their Instagram. I'll probably link it down below on the description so you guys get to see it as well. Anyway. Yeah, so this is the volume 59 that I bought yesterday and it's pretty nice. Um, I was hoping it would actually contain the Juliet and Justine dress that I missed out on buying called Peace Age, but it's actually not But that's fine, it doesn't really matter because I still think that purchasing that magazine is really Anyway, I also received a package today, which I'm going to be unboxing in front of you. It's from Made in Clothing. It's an online shop, like a second-hand online shop in Japan. And it's uh, sent to me through EMS. And uh, it's actually a Baby the Starshine Light dress. It's a really old one. And um, yeah, it's 
So I got it for a really good deal. I think it's um, twelve thousand nine hundred sixty yen. Which um, the only thing about maiden clothing, though, like in comparison with the other online shops that I've gone and bought from, can't pay through PayPal with them. They only take credit cards. So um, yeah, like I had to go and borrow my dad's credit card and just basically pay him back for the amount that was deducted on the card so um at the end of the day though it's it's not really bad because you can actually um order from overseas it doesn't matter you don't need to get a shopping service or anything like that so at least that saved up on a little bit of money because i didn't want to go and uh, pay for my shopping service to go and get it for me so that was really good um well, yeah i think they had pretty good customer service um they did provide a little bit of instruction although at some point it was there was an email that was sent to me with regards to like the payment process and it was all in Japanese and I just had to basically like um, if you can't read Japanese it would probably be best if you have somebody who can read it for you so if you don't trust yourself to be able to completely understand the process just go and stick with the shopping servants like um, Tenchi Shop or something like that to purchase your items for you and made in clothing. Anyway, I better get started so I can show you my package. Um, it didn't take much to actually open it up, <laughs> so it doesn't really stick down very well. I think it's this is the dress that I purchased from Made in Clothing. It's actually Antique Rose Garden JSK with this special boy. It's a really good dress, I think. I mean, the, the only thing that, is, that I found a little bit amusing about this particular color, right? The pink one, is that um, the waist bow that they have for this dress is like a much darker pink than for example the rest of the bows and the corset lacing in the back so like look at the bows and uh, there's the ribbon detailing at the front and then this is the waist bow which i find very strange um the other colorways which is you know the brown and the um, I think it's a sort of um, grey colorway. It's actually got more matching waist bows. So that's probably the only thing that I have an issue with, with this particular um, series. It's it's very nice though, it's really gorgeous. Um, like look at the sleeves on here, like beautiful lace that they use on here. I think it's also a little bit pink. Um, I don't know if you can tell rose lace on that it's also got a really nice bodice it's really gorgeous a little bit of like ruffling over there and it does have shearing and corset lacing to adjust for your size um, and this one is actually in a line dress and you should probably go and be a bit of shock from farther away Sorry about that noise. Um, yeah, so this is what the full dress looks like. And on the back. So yeah, it's got a very gorgeous detail of like these painting looking florals, like roses. And they're so gorgeous and the fabric is so beautiful. Like, um, I'm very, very partial to something that is actually goblin fabric, but this one isn't goblin fabric or anything like that. The texture is a lot softer and it doesn't really have like that, um, that kind of texture that that has. But this one still has some really nice detailing on the fabric. It's a little bit more subtle. But it's really gorgeous and I really love it. I think this particular purchase is really worth it. It's very old school in its style, I think. It's like there's this 
this lace that goes down on both sides of it. And I think just the general structure of it is very old school. And I do have a an embarrassing <laughs> like partiality towards old school florals. Like that's the reason why I'm kind of like in love with common floral prints in the first place. And one of my dream dresses actually is Goblin from Shea Escape and Victorian Maiden. Um, but I've never been able to find it being sold on the auctions or second hand shops or anything. So um, if you guys could, um, if like if you've seen it somewhere or if you're selling it, it would be really nice if you hit me up. That would be great. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed my unboxing and my little bit of a review sort of thing of like the Antique Cruise Garden JSK from Maybe the Star Shine Light. And I hope to see you again soon. Please hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of content and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!